faster for God to move. No, God move when, when, whenever your face measure up with Him. But you so out of whack. Did it take 21 days for you to get your head straight? Amen. But fast disciplines you. It stops you from the, all the other stuff that you are doing in the world. It stops you and makes you get a focus in your mind. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to fast for the church building. You ain't fast for no church building. No, you are fasting because you need to light up so God can tell you what to do with the church building. Hello. Don't we just do a bunch of stuff, you know, church tradition. and tradition. You never find out what the meat of that is. Never. Right? But just fasting. For what? What are you fasting for? Amen. Ah, you know, Pastor got us on this fast. The tradition. Yeah. Amen. Fast at the first of the year, you know, God. You got this here? Then your heart ain't in it. That's right. You don't mean it. That's right. You definitely ain't going to fit in the change. No. So you just missing some meals. Yeah. You could have went on your diet. Yeah. Hello, amen. You just should have went on your diet. You would have did better. You would have felt better about it. Amen. Come on. And whenever God is revealed, hallelujah, in you, when he reveals himself, then he reveals something about you in the earth. That's right. That's right. Lord help me, boy. Lord help me. When you get lined up, that's when God starts revealing about something about you. And do, 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 don't you know that when he revealed something about you, that's the time because see, Satan don't know the mind of God. He does not know the timing of God. He can't go in God's mind and probe God and find out what's going on with you. No, nobody knows the mind of God. But whenever God reveals it, Satan say, oh, God has revealed something about them. I got to catch it before they get there. Before they get it in their spirit, I have to catch them and stop this revelation. I got to put me with Bill White. Right now, any interception of the evening with the revelation of God for who we are. Come to intercept what God has revealed about you and stop you from becoming. That's why all hell break loose when God starts revealing stuff. And if you're not shopping, if you don't know what's going on, you'll result back to who you used to be. And not say that I got them because they missed it. That's why when God does stuff, it is suddenly. Yes. Amen. Amen. Suddenly means a moment. Yes. In a moment. A moment, I find out, is 60 seconds. That's just how long you have to respond to what God said. Whenever God said something concerning you, you have 60 seconds. If it takes any longer, you're going to talk yourself out of it. All right. Woo, help me in here. Amen. You're going to talk yourself out of it. So God said you have 60 seconds to respond. If I told you that I was going to bless you and bring your life up to a you got 60 seconds to say, thank you, Lord, I believe it. I receive it. I walk in that. I am blessed. I am anointed. I am going to get this. God said that I can have it. It's mine. I respond with a When God said you heal, you got to respond to it. I am a people. When God said that you are a millionaire, you got to respond to it. I am a millionaire. When God said you gonna get the house, you got to respond. Let your neighbor say you got to do something. Let somebody say you got to do something. But touch three people and say, I'm not who you thought I was. Oh, 
And I'm not who I was when I came in here. No, you got to get the second seat. You got to get the second to respond. You're just drained and tired. No, for real. Came in here, you come drained and tired. Oh no. Uh, most everybody here with me. Now, isn't that amazing? All of us came in here drained and tired. Now, you know me. This is my what God has given me—a revelation that He's given me concerning the way our bodies respond. If your body is responding a certain way, it is because, what church? Something, something going on in your spirit. Something is going on in your spirit. Mm -hmm. All of us drain the tide. Mm -hmm. Something is to be said about that. Mm -hmm. Something going on in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Let me share with you what it is. He tired of you where you are. He's drained. He said, okay, I'm y'all, you done drained me right here. Please take me up where I can get some drinks of life in me. I'm drained. I'm tired. Ain't you tired of the neighbor you have? Ain't you tired of church as usual? Ain't you tired? Ain't you tired of this mess over and over and over and over? Your spirit said, I'm tired. You taking me in. I'm bored with the same old way you have turned. I'm bored. I'm tired. Yes. 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 Glory to God. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm drained. I'm, I'm out. Okay. You trying to reach in yourself and find life. Ain't no sap in there. Because you know in the winter, January 15th, around that time, the, the trees reach within itself. Because it don't, it don't rely on the water or the moisture of the earth anymore. During the winter season, when it's time to bring forth the leaves and life, it has to reach within itself and pull from the sap that is within it to bring the leaves for the, for the spring. Guess what? You already in the spring. Your life, new life is happening, and you ain't got no sap. <laughs> Life by right now. Don't you see the trees are blossoming back there? The flowers blooming, the grass blooming. Yes, sir. Yes. No, no, not you. Supposed to be at a new place by now. Yes. Do you not know we're in the season of Pentecost? Yes. Huh? Fifty days after the, you know the resurrection was the day of. Pentecost fully come, but this is actually the season of Pentecost. What does that mean? That means every year, every year at Pentecost. Do you not know it was at Pentecost when Moses got the Torah? It was at Pentecost when the Holy Ghost came. It means, y'all, that that is a time that the portals of heaven opens and God comes down to visit the believers, the people of God, and to say to them, I'm going to start something new over in your life now. You got to understand where you are. The reason why the enemy don't want you to flourish and to move forward is because he wants you stuck in your own flesh. But you need to take a step and say, I'm out of this. 